Charlie C. And welcome back to Comedy Central again. Oh yeah. I'm back, fellas. Back to my recovery. We're back to the old, back into the old school and then the hip hop music at Odyssey Records. <laughs> Alright, alright. <clears throat> okay, thank you, thank you for applause. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> alright. <clears throat> I'm just trying to stick my mind since like I used to have my stigma for a year, you know? That was my that was my curfew for those days. But I didn't want it, but I didn't want that on my my own so <laughs> sorry. That was my act. I can't fresh out the death. I can't fresh out the dead. <laughs> okay, that's enough. That's enough clapping. Okay, okay. God. Oh, God. All right, well, let's talk about something like old school to a new school. Here we go. All right, well, here comes the interrupting clock. If you see like, this clock and right behind, that's the interrupting clock. Whoever one person gets a screwed in the light bulb, that's going to be the, the cost for them to live that money. If you're watching this clock all day, which is wasting money. Interrupting clock. Does it make any sense to you? No. Well, you might get it sometime. But if you see the light that was channeling up with that freaking clock out there, that's called interrupting clock. You know, I have a little pesty about what is going on in the world now. Nobody else, what does the interrupting clock means? Interrupting clock means you'll get caught up by someone else that who can waste batteries and a waste of money, whatever they, they come from. Nobody knows what the, the, the interrupting clock is going to come out to geniuses. But nobody knows. Nobody knows about my geniuses. Nobody knows. <laughs> All right, this is my first. This is the first time we're doing the 4K, so I beg your pardon about the video and stuff. It's gonna be a big deal because I got a new upgrading in this phone. So don't tell me my this shit because I'm in a new upgrade. You get it? Upgrade you. Whoever is screwed in the light bulb in this phone right here from the first pinch of 4K, it's called an upgrade you. Get it? I knew. You never know my name. I knew. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, do you know who is more stupid? Justin Bieber. Every day, I can keep, keep hearing about Justin Bieber every day. All of this crap, it has to go. Never know what's the difference. Everybody has the weird differences in my life, in your life. Whoever you're just blaming every day, you can just cause your harms every single motherfucking day. You know? Whatever is more stupid or dumb. Stupid or dumb an adventure. That's like, like a Super Mario Bros. Stupid and Dumb Adventure of Whoever does this shit. You know? I have a heavy tones. Whatever they come every day. Here's the simple. Whatever is more stupid and whatever is that, that grateful. Michael Jackson or Justin Bieber. <laughs> you get it, right? You get it, right? <laughs> okay, all right, that's enough for that. Okay, so, okay, next one. Ew, Bella! Ew, Bella text bars! Oh, shit! This is my first time I've been game nationality in my comedy. What is going on? <laughs> wow. Okay, let's talk about Bella and do this one. That sports guy, he's getting me hesitant every single day. When I wake up in the morning, this is so something happens. 
If you keep thinking about the that soccer player all day, you thought it was Neil Messi or Neymar or mainly fat soccer players, they never know. But that wasn't like any top player like like Johnny Bravo or or something like that. Or some other guy like last name Fernandez, Rodriguez's or Lopez or Castro. No. That wasn't them. It was all Pele. Ew. Peel. <laughs> Get it? Name of the soccer player who was fat. His name is Pele from Brazil. He's been in the World Cup when he was 15. I'm like, I, I do get it who it was. 15. You know, nobody in the star who is in, in, this, in a sitcom. But everybody else who know who it is. It was so Pele. You know, I can solve this every day. Nobody knows. And nobody gets it. How am I going to get my awkward feelings? Nobody knows. I can feel about that. But I have a feeling. I have a little charisma in my head a little bit. Because of I have feelings about my fart. But I don't have. That's why I don't drink milk like original milk every single day. Aww. See? You killed it. You killed it, Miss Mouse. That's why farts. It's the bad, bad thing you can do. Don't drink regular milk. Plus, don't eat cheese. It's gonna harm in your body. And they put you in cancer for like, for like 50 years or so. That's dumb. Or 30 or 40, it doesn't matter what, what age you are. But, all you have to do, just keep yourself in your sense of humor that you have. Don't get it what you have. Get what you have. Look at me. I'm sexy, I'm not. But at the end of the day, if you don't get it get the, the, the legal term from your ass, your ass is fine. Your ass is awesome. But you're just gonna have to do whatever it is and just try to keep it together from your sleep. But get it together, baby. We're in the energy zone. Not just like in the fart zone. Don't force it. You'll get like bad things if you fart. But if you fart, but what's the difference between trying to force that fart or natural? But natural, here's the difference. If you fart naturally, you don't have to force it too much. We are ass like to quell it. That's going to help you like this. <laughs> and the other part. If you're, if you're driving slowly from your farting, from your digestion, if you want to force it, ugh, it's going to make you feel cancer. It's going to go, go like this. No. Can't do it. Don't do it. This is kind of like disgusting that you know. It's really naughty, but don't force it. You'll get cancer. All right, just like Bella. I'm trying to let you know, Bella does farts. That's all. And that's what I'm trying to tell you, and that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Good. <laughs> okay. 